Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to our weekly newscast. My name is Nick Hernandez. Our first story of the week has to do with the beginning of the 2019-2020 school year and how it impacts our senior class. Here's Rebecca Leo reporting for Senior Corner. The first day of school is always special, but it's significantly more important for one particular grade. Everyone in high school waits in anticipation of their senior year, a year known for being laid back and having many privileges. I feel like being a senior is a lot more stress-free and I don't know, on the first day of school I was a lot less like anxious about like people in classes. So this year is, compared to other years, is a lot more relaxed. Everyone isn't uptight or as excited. More, Everyone just kind of wants to get everything over with and the teachers seem a lot more chill and stuff. I feel like teachers have a way bigger expectation for seniors because you're basically an adult at this point, so they more treat it like a job where if you do something wrong, you're going to get penalized. Despite all graduating, each student in the class of 2020 has a different experience in their classes. I feel like classes this year are easier for the most part than like last year and like sophomore freshman year. I'd actually say more difficult because I'm in a lot of more honors and a few AP classes, so they're a lot more strict around ratings and all that. Start. Many seniors are excited to spend their last year at Douglas. I think my favorite part about being a senior is knowing that this is my last year in high school. I've been through this for three years and it's been a really rough ride. And knowing that this is my last year is making me more motivated to, to do well in my classes. And knowing that there, there's about to be a new chapter in my life, it makes it really special for me. This is Rebecca Leal from WMSC News. Thank you, Rebecca. Next up, we have our very own Matt Alderman and Julia Luna from Entertainment, providing the latest scoop on the feud between Sony and Disney. In most recent news, Sony has removed Spider-Man from the Marvel Cinematic Universe due to a disagreement over the splitting of revenue between them and Disney. Disney, who owns Marvel, and Sony had penned a deal in 2015 that would bring Spider-Man into the MCU. In the initial deal, Sony would allow Marvel's creative team to integrate Spider-Man into the MCU and would put up 100% of the production costs. In exchange, Disney received 5% of the ticket sales from the first day of release and retained the merchandising rights for the character. Sony would reap the rest of the box office haul. Disney reportedly proposed a 50-50 co-financialing deal, which means each company would put up half of the production costs and then split the profits. According to entertainment news website Deadline, Sony reportedly refused this deal. This means that we might not see Tom Holland as Spider-Man in any of Marvel's future installments, this all coming out after the announcement of Phase 4 from Marvel. However, there is a silver lining here, as Tom Holland has come out and said we'll still see him slinging webs in his Spidey suit once again, despite the controversy. And there is yet to be word from Sony or Disney on if they plan to reconsider and come to a new agreement. Well, we can only hope we see more of Spider-Man in the coming years. Lastly on our Friday newscast is a story on the new Stoneman Douglas administration and what they have to offer. Here's Brandon Trevinsky with the latest. It's a new year at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and with it brings a new principal, Michelle Kefford. Based on our past experiences, you could say that she is highly qualified for the position. But what are students' thoughts on the new hire? She seems like a nice person, someone that keeps the school like very good trying to keep the school safe. The new principal, it's, it's a new change. I mean, a lot of our staff has changed, so there's that. And with the new principal, I don't know what she brings because I don't know what she has done in the past. So it could be good, it could be bad, we don't know. You know, I've, I've heard good things. I know that she taught at the school before. Um, you know, she definitely has, you know, reason to care for the school. And, and you know, I, I so far, uh, the year has seemed like, you know, we've been a lot more put together, like we've kind of, uh, you know, taken the lessons that we, you know, potentially could have learned from last year and have applied what we've learned from those experiences that we've gone through. I'm obviously very enthusiastic about new leadership and, you know, I guess we'll, we'll see as the year goes on. My expectations are always uh, they always surround the success of my students so I want to make sure that our students have every opportunity available to them um, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom so that they are able to utilize these four years here at Stoneman Douglas to meet their goals and aspirations once they leave here so we want to make sure that not only is it a great education is it a top-notch uh, opportunity for extracurricular experiences and opportunities but that we enjoy being here and we enjoy being around one another 
awesome. If I could change one thing about the school right now, I think I would um, probably just change, uh, you, you know, just the, the state of security. And I understand that, you know, while security is necessary, I think right now more than anything, um, students can feel cooped up. They can feel like they're in a prison or like they are, you know, kind of held back. Lots of controversy followed the resigning of the formal principal, Mr. Thompson. Students hope that Kefford will come along with the necessary changes that the school needs. This job, uh, being a principal, is a lot of pressure because at the end of the day, you're responsible for everything that goes on, um, even things that aren't necessarily in your local control. Um, this school um, is a very um, high-profile high school. It's in a great community. Um, we've done a lot of great things, but yeah, there is a lot of pressure associated with the job. This, this place is, is, um, holds a lot of my roots, so it's great. And There's nothing I would change. I love being back. It seems like she has made a great first impression on the students, and many are excited for what she can bring for the new year. This is Brandon Shervinsky, WMSD News. Welcome back, guys. Have a great day. Take photos with the cars. Get some food from our food truck. Our first week of school is good. Uh, senior year is off to a good start. Having fun and it's nice to be back at Douglas. I like to hear the people, administration, teachers. I'm pretty good. Nothing really has gone wrong. Teachers, I don't think, are giving too much homework. I don't really have anything bad to say. A year ago, I had the idea to wrap the fence around the 1200 building with this tree-like banner. We got permission from the State Attorney, State Attorney General's Office, BSO, Ms. Pepper, Mr. Lunsky, and, and then we put together a GoFundMe. All right, guys, have a great 2019-2020 school year here at MSD. Welcome back. That concludes this week's newscast. Have a great day and a safe weekend, Eagles.